Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 20 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Today's episode is powered by my sponsor Elgato Gaming and the key lights, the green screen, the HD 60s Plus, all of the stuff that I use to make my content every single day. I highly recommend it to all of you aspiring content creators out there. If you'd like to learn more, my link is down below in the description. So getting on into today's episode then, if you would do me a huge favor at the start and hit that thumbs up button, I'd love that. Uh, and of course, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel uh, and clicking the notification bell if you are new around here, that would mean the world to me. So, I mean, we've got Zidane in our starting lineup at the moment. Uh, I'm not going to use him just yet. I think maybe in tomorrow's episode, I might, in like the back end of my weekend league, I might actually uh, give him a run out. For now, we'll just replace him with uh, with Frankie de Jong, Team of the Year nominee. Uh, and then at the start of this episode is going to be just a few things that happened in the season past, like you know me unlocking a few different bits, and then like my middle section of uh, of the weekend league uh, for the rest of the episode. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoy that. Obviously, it's Monday uh, and the weekend league is finished, and that is just where we're at right now. I'm a little bit ahead on videos, uh, as you can, as I'm sure you guys can appreciate. Just me trying to get ready for uh, a couple of days off at Christmas, hopefully. So we got Zidane's story, and I have unlocked the Tifo that I think I'll probably use for the rest of FIFA. Because, damn, that looks awesome. I, I, I have to say, like, that's the sort of thing that I was hoping for when, when, when we get Tifos. Like, obviously, we had Icon Tifos last year. Uh, but, like, a Real Madrid Zidane, that's... Uh, that, that's it's like when he was my favorite player ever. So, uh, yeah, I, 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 I am buzzing about that. If we could get like a an R9 one as well, maybe in like a Brazil kit, that would be awesome um, because that's my other favorite player. Uh, but we're <coughs> cruising our way through a few of the first levels. But obviously the, the XP to get between level 1 and 10 is probably like the same as between level... 19 and 20 if you know what i mean like it's quite easy to move up the first few uh but we do get a jumbo premium gold 26 pack i don't know what that means i guess it's just one extra item in a normal jumbo premium gold pack uh so we'll go ahead and open that up alongside the gold pack and the consumables pack there is a squad fitness in there so of course we'll, just, we'll take that you know the, you never get super buzzing to unlock a uh, a consumables pack can you guys remember when we had lightning rounds one year and they actually brought out a lightning round of consumables packs? That was full on banter and that was actually quite funny. Um, <laughs> but yes, we get nothing from the gold pack as you would expect. Can we get anything from our little jumbo premium gold 26 pack? That would be nice, wouldn't it? But uh, I don't think, I've got a feeling we, we don't really get anything. Uh, no no boards or walk out. Uh, so the best you can hope for here is like a furl on Mendy. And we don't get that. We get Bastos from the Serie A. But it is a 78 pace centre back in Serie A. To maybe go alongside my Murillo in first owner objectives. And a Zappa Costa as well, which is better than what we currently have at right back in Serie A. Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw a little... I saw something on Twitter, like someone had found the article. Which said that icon swaps would be coming out on like Boxing Day. Um, so the, 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 the objectives will start then and we'll have like a couple of weeks in order to, to get the tokens done and, and get the stuff unlocked. So it's going to be, it's going to be pretty tight, but hey, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what they are. If they are league based or maybe nation based this time, uh, who knows? Uh, but, uh, as you guys are on Monday, you know, I, I may have completed a couple of like the Saturday, Sunday night, um, Footmas SBCs, I just don't know what they are yet. Hopefully we end with a bang. We go out with some big players. Uh, so uh, if so, I do have a couple hundred thousand coins at my disposal and the ability to sell that Frankie de Jong. Um... So I reckon I've got about 320k maybe, and if that's the case, then I could probably do quite a few Footmas SBCs if they do end with really good usable players that I want to have for future objectives. So we unlock Fabian Delft, so that's another Footmas item going into the squad. Uh, he's only 81 rated, he doesn't look that great if I'm honest, so uh, we're not like... We're not overwhelmed by by getting him, but hey, it is a, it's a free player that actually has fairly well-rounded stats in the center of midfield, in the Prem, or is English, so you never know. I might find a use for him, but I, I highly doubt it. He's never going to be like a, a first-team player or anything, is he? So this is obviously the squad that we are rocking and the squad that can uh, hopefully guide us through our weekend league. It looks fairly... Fairly, uh, 
uh, menacing, I guess. Just lots of special items in there. There's a Messi, there's a Neymar, there's a Dalglish. So people, of course, know what my front three is going to be. Uh, so it is, of course, time to go into foot champs. Knowing that we are 3-0, and uh, we had two really quick rage quits in the first two games. And then a game which I shouldn't have won, but I luckily did. I think I just my team just sort of basically carried me to the victory there. Um and so we go in at 3-0. and uh, And this first goal here, like I had quite a few opportunities in the first nine minutes, which were a little bit like that. Uh, I think I hit the post and or the goalkeeper saved it. And like there was just a lot of bobbles that seemed to be going my way, uh, which is unfor uh, unfortunate for my opponent and actually kind of unheard of. Because most of the time I'm sat here moaning at you guys saying that all the bobbles and bounces are going for my opponent. Uh, and I've, I've actually narrowed it down. There's a few players, you know, that just have that, that bounce factor where the ball goes back to them. Right. So, it is Timo Werner. So, I'm scared if I come up against that new player of the month one. He has this ridiculous annoying factor, which he just gets the ball come back to him. Serge Gnabry, particularly the red player of the month one. Every single time. I don't know what stat it is, but that guy keeps the ball every time I tackle him. I don't know why. Uh, and then, like, player of the month, Vardy. Those types of players, you know. Those, those, ah, they do my head in. I tell you, they do my head in. So, I, I never, ever overestimate myself. Even if, like, if someone's got a playing gold squad, uh, but he's got a player of the month, Vardy, in there, which I know only costs 20k. Normally, obviously, I out-team that, but I never, never now think that I own, never try to get overconfident because I just know what Jamie Vardy and the like can do. Um, so we bring on Atal at half time, and uh, I tell you what, I am blown away by this player. So obviously, when he comes on as a substitute, he is at five chemistry, and I, I just think he's awesome. I just think he's absolutely ridiculous. Um, we were 3 0 up in this game, so it didn't, you know, things were going well for us. We ended up scoring a goal with Balassi, so I think I brought off Messi uh, just because I wanted to try out Balassi here in a game which I was fairly comfortably winning uh, and he ends up getting himself a goal which is really nice and then Neymar I tried to fake Rabona it there but for some reason the game didn't do it uh, but we were still able to cut back and, and sort of curve that finesse shot around the goalkeeper who was running at me to to win like 6-1 you know it was a it was a resounding victory uh, nice Nice, easy game, really, uh, to, for the first game of the day uh, and to actually get me up to 4-0. and And then we come up against this, and I'm like, okay, I can afford to lose at 4-0, and and then my first five games will be 4-1, and and I would normally take that. Uh, so he's got Politano, Neymar, Socrates, like, uh, was it a red nine Golan? Yeah, he just had a really nice squad that I was worried about. Um... I still probably out-teamed him a little bit, but he did have a genuinely lovely squad. And he had, like, Van Dyke at the back. So maybe his defense was a bit more solid than mine. Uh, and I go 1-0 up. It was actually a goal from Dalglish that, that got me that. Uh, oh, yeah, he also had Cruyff. How could I forget? Uh, and he ends up equalizing against me with Cruyff. And then not long after the equalizer, Socrates just sort of spins my defender nicely and hits a worldie of a finesse into the roof of the net. So I'm 2-1 down, and I'm like, ah. I was, I was getting done. This this game was uh, tough. He was a better player than me. Uh, I had to switch to match him. I think he was playing 4-4-2. So I had to switch to 4-4-2 as well. We brought on Atal as, again at that centre mid spot. And we've also brought on Kent out wide because 4-star skill, 5-star weak foot, loads of pace and agility. Hopefully that can be the sort of thing that helps me out. Um, we try and score a free kick. Even that wasn't working for us. You know how I've told you guys in the past that those free kicks with Messi are almost like a free goal. Uh, and then we get through with Messi again here. Take the strike, but it goes in. Oh, he's offside. He's offside. That is a shame. So um, more changes to be made. I think I have a look at uh, what I could do with a 3-5-2. Just because I'm losing this game and time is going on, I need to apply pressure. So uh, we leave it how it is, basically. Messi gets another free kick. This time we hit it green, but it comes off the post or the goalkeeper. I'm not quite sure. Either way, I end up actually getting a penalty from my opponent's goalkeeper wiping out my Kenny Dalglish. That is probably nothing to do with my opponent. He didn't mean to do it. He probably didn't press any buttons to do it. And that is unfortunate for him. But we get the goal with Dalglish. We stick down the middle. He's got 99 penalties. So, of course, uh, that uh, you know he, he's always got the best chance of scoring. And then Messi into Dalglish. Back to Messi in the 90th minute. Yes! We come away with the victory. Uh, yeah, that, that was just... I left it on the 3-5-2. Even against a better player who was better than me at attacking. Um... 
And I uh, obviously would have been more open at the back. But what I did do was I noticed that I was applying a lot of pressure. He couldn't really defend it very well. So um, towards the end of the game there, obviously, we just found our formation. And then after I went 3-2 up, he obviously switched to a 4-2-4 a uh, to try and go all out attack. But there was no time left. I just kept that ball uh, and, and we were able to come away with a victory. Uh, a really well fought victory against a, a player that I probably should have lost against. But that's 5-0, and oh, so that's the first little thing done. And now you see this team, you see like Nathan Aki, you see uh, Sane, Musa Sissoko, that Urzil, you think, oh, that's an alright team, but I definitely out this guy. But you saw he had Vardy, right? So you've got to be careful. Again, no no overconfidence here, because Vardy wins a, a nothing penalty. I just tackled him, and he gets a penalty for it. I don't know what this guy's all about, but um, luckily I was able to save it. I think I just, I just guessed one way, and he went that way. So uh, luckily for me, to Stegen is the boy today. And then we run down the other end. Dalglish knocks it across, and Neymar Jr. is the one to strike that one home. Uh, an easy little tap in to put me 1-0 up uh, in what has been not the easiest game. I had one opportunity in the first half. That was it. Um, and then in the second half, Sterling gets down this right wing. He knocks it across and it is, of course, Jamie Vardy, my nemesis that equalises against me. Seven minutes in to the second half, he's kick-off gold me. No, he hasn't. <laughs> of course he hasn't. Uh, but yeah, like that, that's 1-1. Um, and this game, uh, I, I could just see it going down the pan. I could just see this one being bad, especially when we hit the post there. But how fortunate is that? That ball just dropping back to Neymar like that to get that easy goal. I felt bad, but hey, it happens against me. So you got to take it when it happens for you. Uh, and then we knock it into the box here. It falls to Paulinho and bang, just roof of the net. Left foot, like the weak foot of Paulinho. He just bangs it and uh, I am... Thank you for scoring that. That one felt fairly lucky for me as well. Uh, so... I, I come away with yet another victory. That's 6-0. and oh. You know, that's a good start for the weekend league, you know. Uh, especially as we're coming up to Christmas. We, we have lots to do. I just want to get to that 14 wins as quick as literally possible. Uh, that would be nice. Then we come up against this. Red Salah, Red Mahrez, uh, Neymar and Bappe. And this guy was better than me. I, I would imagine that with the team that he had, that he's someone that finishes quite high up. Because I was getting fairly destroyed. You know, 2-0 down after 19 minutes. But I sort of stuck with it a little bit. But my head had kind of gone. And I just I couldn't see myself winning this one. Um, we get through with Neymar for a certain goal. And it ad ends up going wide. And that was like the final straw for me. I was like, let's not waste time here. Let us, let's literally just move on. It doesn't matter. We'll take our first loss. It literally don't matter. Um, so we are 6-1. and one. And then we come up against this. And this is where I get a little overconfident. Like, he's got a pretty standard team. But uh, I... I shouldn't, I should not, <laughs> I should not be too confident in a game like this. I actually go 1-0 down to a header. A what? A header? Someone scored a header against me on FIFA 20. I should be ashamed. 1-0 uh, down after three minutes from Lengley, but what a ball that is through to Leo Messi. Uh, I've actually switched it so that Messi plays up front in the uh, in the 4-1-2-1-2. Him and Dalglish with Neymar at cam. Because Messi's, uh, wait, what? Am I conceding a second header in the same game? Am I playing FIFA 19? I, I don't know what's going on. But yeah, Messi's attack positioning is so, so good that I think that he's wasted if he's not up front, actually. And maybe Neymar, with his five-star skill, five-star weak foot, can still push forward with us. But um, I think that maybe that's the that's the triangle that I want to play with at the moment. Neymar back there, and then uh, Messi and, and, and Dalglish up front. So then we concede a... Uh, an annoying little rebound. So I've conceded two headers and a rebound in this game. Not happy about it. But look at this from Dalglish. It's just it's just magical and then terrible. Uh, the pass wasn't great, but it falls to us and we get. I guess I don't know. It's not a rebound, but it's a it's a lucky goal uh, to make this one three all. And then look, Atal, who I brought on at right mid, just ends up like weaving his way into into the box, and knocking it across, and Messi scores the goal. I had to match this guy's four four two, and we were just playing Atal at right mid. And I've got to say, he was absolutely influential. And then look at that for some luck. Uh, that is a that's a very very big slice of luck to for that ball to just fall to Dalglish and, and we were able to score. So with five shots, we've scored five goals. But my opponent had also scored three, and no way. A third header in the same game on FIFA 20. You have got to be kidding me. You have cat to be kitting me right meow. What is going on? Oh, I don't know what I'm even saying at this point. But yeah, I ended up conceding three headers in one game. What on earth? Um, but we win because we outscored him. 
Lovely. So that's seven and one. We move on into the next one. Um, it's a nice team. You can see how that can be fairly meta. Uh, I'm a little bit intrigued at how he's going to defend with Nesta and PK. I've sort of gone off PK at this point of the game. Um, just because of the agility and balance and stuff. Ness is a very similar thing. Uh, but they're very, very solid defenders. And this guy was a good player. I shouldn't have been 1-0 up against him. Like, the possession was less. Uh, the, the the shots and stuff was less. Uh, I ended up bringing this Kent on. And he, he ran the show, really. Uh, I think, again, I switched to a 4-4-2. And that just opens the play up. Uh, because when I, if I put someone like Kent or Balassi or, or Atal out wide, they just have so much speed that they get beyond that defender and then knock it into like Leo Messi, who as you can see here is just like obviously fantastic at finishing. Uh, and that was a game which I shouldn't have won. And uh, we had some positive messages between each other after the game. So GG's mate, I uh, genuinely, that's, that was not a 3-0 game. But that brings us up to 8-1. and one. A Perfect, well not perfect, but a brilliant start to the weekend league. Uh, and we come up against this. This is going to be the final game of the episode. He's got Messi. He's got Inform Hazard. He's got a genuinely lovely team. Um, and it was a it was a bore fest, is all I'll say. So I missed that one, which I should be scoring. I, I think maybe I should be lobbing the goalkeeper at that point, but I should be 1-0 up. Messi then Berber spins inside. Knocks it to Dalglish. Knocks it through to Neymar. And I thought at this point I'm losing this match. Uh, there's no way I'm winning. If I hit the post from an opportunity that clear cut, there's no way I'm winning. Uh, and it was just, it was just, as you can see, the second half did nothing. It was just a bore fest. I didn't have a shot in the second half. And this game goes nil-nil all the way to penalties, of which you're going to watch now. So I go one nil up. And then save his effort from Son. So it's, it's advantage lasty right now. And I score my next one. Save this one and we are really in the lead. But ah, I should have stayed down the middle. Still advantage, plus one to Lasty. Oh, wait, I just got one saved. And then he scored. Things have leveled up. Uh-oh. Palinio steps up, sticks it in the corner. Nice work. That is a, a goal for me. And then I saved the next one. So it is advantage, Lasty, again. I've just got to score this. But I miss with Kenny Dalglish. So if he scores this, we carry on. But he doesn't. He hits the post. Yes, we come away with a nil-nil victory. 3-2 <laughs> on penalties. So that is going to be 9-1 and one for us. The only one game that we've lost is the one that I rage quit early on just because I didn't think it was ever going to go my way. Maybe that was a mistake. Maybe we should have carried on. Uh, but who knows? If I'd have ended losing that one five, like ended up losing that one five nil, that may have completely triggered me into le then losing the next few games. So it might have been just a smart move to to get out of that one and move on. So that's where we're going to end the weekend league for today's episode. Obviously, I need to carry on up to fourteen wins. Um, in terms of everyone in my squad. Uh, Diego Carlos, the centre-back, I think is still very solid. I do really like him. Thiago Mendes, I, I'm a little bit like, eh, he's, he's good. I'm glad we got him, but I don't think he's as good as Alan. Um, and even Pep may be a better CDM than him. Uh, I don't know, but he's still an alright player. Obviously, Dalglish is killing it in the weekend league. Neymar's killing it. Messi's killing it. They're all very, very good. Uh, but this man is my star so far this weekend. Youssef Atal, what an absolute beast. Love the guy. He's just genuinely been great, even on five chemistry. Um, I think I might start Zidane where Frankie de Jong is at the start uh, or for the for the final few games of the weekend league. Just use my lone one up just to try him out. Uh, and if that's the case, I could maybe even try and start, like try and get it in a position where I could start uh, Atal at right back. I don't know. Maybe that's a waste. Maybe I need to be playing him in the midfield. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is going to be the end of the episode today. Do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button uh, if you've enjoyed. Let's get 3,000 likes on this episode. It's so close to Christmas. Give me another little Christmas present. That'd be brilliant. Uh, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Why don't you come follow me on Twitter and Instagram? The, the links are down below in the description or they're just over there. Uh, and uh, most importantly, I hope you all have a wonderful day uh, and I will keep Catch you tomorrow with another episode. Peace.